The land of Oo has flooded, and out there be pirates. It's up to Finn and Jake to find out how things got so whack and bust up a few dinguses while they're at it. Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion attempts to translate the Cartoon Network series into a simple and accessible RPG with turn-based combat, but never quite manages to nail the humor of the show or balance battles. The map gives the illusion of vastness, presenting itself as an open world with islands dotted here and there, almost akin to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In practice, it feels more like an overworld map or a hub for smaller levels. Instead of letting you freely explore the islands, each one is a set path with linear combat encounters and puzzles to complete. That's a little disappointing, especially after a long voyage to get there. It takes so long to sail across the almost barren waters from one island to another that Ooh becomes less of an open world and more of an empty feeling one. It is delightful how much this world looks like the TV show, though. The art style reflects the cartoon nicely and everything is faithfully recreated. But while Adventure Time's cast of voice actors all show up to lend authenticity to their characters, the writing just seemed a bit off and not quite as sharp as the show itself. That was weird. Yeah, but Peppermint Butler's kind of a weird dude. Yeah, so go and find PB now, I guess? Once combat is introduced, the turn-based party system offers a very standard lineup. There's your typical tank, support, and DPS characters, and once you've figured out how to take down enemies, battles can give a simple satisfaction. This simplicity, at least in the beginning, makes Pirates of the Enchiridion a good entry point for people not too familiar with this kind of game. The problem is that the challenge never ramps up once you've learned the basics. The second half of the 10-hour campaign becomes boring and repetitive because the simple routine of basic moves can beat pretty much anything, including bosses. There's no way to turn up the difficulty either. Character development feels a little unnecessary because of that, but many of the upgrades feel good because they have a major impact on your performance in combat. But to make general upgrades to your stats and abilities and purchase items, you'll need to arduously collect currency from chests or by destroying regenerating items. If you want brand new abilities for your characters that can change the way you'll play, you'll need to complete certain side quests, but those can tilt the balance even more in your favor. One of these turned out to be a blocking ability for Jake, which turned him into a full tank class character and opened up even more powerful strategies. Your characters do more than just fight, they'll also solve puzzles, but they too are mindlessly easy. The standard switch-based and torch-lighting puzzles make brief appearances, but they don't require much thought. Some areas will call for Marceline to use her invisibility, and others will have gaps to be crossed using Jake's ability to grow. This isn't really fun after the novelty of the first few times, so it just feels like an extra step of padding. The one ability that's fun to use is Jake turning into a scooter for your whole party to ride. Where the characters almost shine is when you need to get some answers, and fighting just won't do the job. That's when it's interrogation time! These small bouts where Finn and Jake take turns to good cop, bad cop someone into fessing up the goods are still simplistic and unchallenging, but also offer some of the truest Adventure Time moments. High Seas RPG Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion brings some of the joy of the TV show to a kind of open-world RPG. It's a good game for beginners, and we get a small taste of how great exploring the show's world and quirky characters could be, but the lack of challenge and options will probably bore veterans. The sad thing is that Adventure Time is a special show because its humor appeals to fans both young and old, but this game seems made exclusively for the former. For more RPGs, check out our reviews of Octopath Traveler, Vampire, and Nino Kuni 2, and for everything else, keep it right here on IGN. My name is Bimo. I'm here to say, let's get killed and save the day. Go Bimo!